Hey, what's up? In this tutorial, we're going to create a classable panel using Dreamweaver CS4. Alright, the first thing we need to do is create a div tag to contain our classable panel. As you can see, I just did that. And now we're going to go to our insert group over here and go to Spry and then click on Spry Collapsible Panel. And you can see that it has inserted some code inside of our div tag and that is all we need to do to create the collapsible panel so I'm gonna run that so you guys can see what it looks like and as you can see here we have a, a collapsible panel that goes across the whole screen and when you click on it it goes up and down and collapses so let's let's customize this a little bit because this isn't exactly what um, I want to see right now so the reason that that is stretching all the way across is because by default the width is set to 100% on the parent div tag. As we can see on this guy, collapsible panel, it has a margin of zero, which is going to take it all the way out to the edge there. So we're going to customize our parent div tag a little bit more right here and we're going to call it as you can see I've already created this panel um, this panel ID and it has a width of 300 pixels so I'm just going to give this div right here an ID of panel and now that should shrink there we go that's going to shrink up our collapsible panel right there and it's still exactly not what I want to see when I load the page. So I'm going to click inside the parent div of the collapsible panel with the ID of collapsible panel 1. And I'm going to change some of these default state and display options right here. So I'm going to change these from open and to, to closed. That way, whenever we open up the page, the panel is going to be closed instead of open. And the reason I'm doing this is because inside of here, I'm getting ready to create a sign up or a sign up for a newsletter form. So I'm going to say sign up for newsletter. And inside the content here, I'm going to create a simple form that is going to allow the user to enter in his email address and then submit it. And that way he can get or he or she can get uh, the newsletter from this sample site. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a table to wrap my form up in. Uh, you have to think about how you're going to format and uh, this time I'm going to format it with a table using two columns, one to hold the label and one to hold the text box that's going to grab the email from the user. So there's the first column and there's a second column and in the second row I'm gonna make one column but I'm gonna give it a call span of two that way it will span two columns just like that okay in the first column I'm gonna say email that way the user knows to put in their email and here I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna click on spry validation text field and I'm going to give it an ID of email. Say OK. And I'm going to click on Page Properties and say OK. And now I see that I have some options for my Spry text field to validate it. So I'm going to click on Email Address. That way, um, this text field is going to have to look like an email address before it is submitted. So I'm going to go down here in the second row and I'm going to go back to Forms in the Insert group and click on Button and make it of type submit alright now one last thing we need to do is wrap our table inside of a form that way it knows that these inputs need to go somewhere in this case it's going to go back to the same page so change the method to post there we go now let's close up our form. 
All right, and now when we launch this, what we expect to see is this text right here. This is sign up for newsletter, and then we click it, and it opens up with this form. And so you put in an email, and you submit it, and there you go. That is how you create a collapsible panel with a form inside of it. In the next tutorial, we're going to be going over tooltips. And uh, a tooltip is a, if you haven't worked with them before, it's basically when you scroll over some text, it's going to pop up with a little, a little blurb about whatever text um, you highlight and whatever text you um, you point the tooltip to. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, that's all the time I have for right now. I'm going to move on to tooltips and don't forget to subscribe and continue watching this series on Spry.